Wheel of Fortune for PowerPoint lets you host your own Wheel of Fortune games with your own puzzles. I'm Tim from Game by Tim, and I'm going to walk you through how it works. Before we begin, we need to enable active content so the game can work properly. Now let's start the slideshow and set up our own puzzles. Select a puzzle number. Type your puzzle. Align the puzzle to best fit. Don't forget the category. Make as many puzzles as you want. Once you fine tune your settings and double check all your puzzles, you are ready for the puzzle board. Invite your players. Add a fourth player if needed. Let's load puzzle number one. It's Dave's turn. Dave spins the wheel. Lands on $800. Dave gets a C. Click the C. There are three C's in the puzzle, worth $2,400. Why up the C's? Add $2,400 to Dave's score. Now Dave wants to buy a vowel. Subtract the vowel cost from Dave's score and select the vowel Dave chooses. Dave spins again. That's a bankrupt. So let's zero out Dave's score and pass the turn over to Jess. Joe is going to solve, saying ice cream sandwich, which is correct. Let's animate the stage, reveal the puzzle, and transfer Joe's round score to Joe's totals. Clear the board. Rinse and repeat. Try different wheels. But for your own wheel, manually set the spun wheel value. Play the final spin and the bonus round. Simulate toss-up rounds, putting the money I stick to the value panel, randomly selecting letters, and giving the earnings to whoever calls the puzzle first. What a game! Let's exit and end the slideshow. So what are you waiting for? Give Wheel of Fortune for PowerPoint a spin, and check out other projects at gamesbytim.com.